Point. One and two and three, that's a good point. Last week, we watched as top tournament hunters from across the country gathered in Meriden, Kansas for the BDC World Championships. We travel a lot of miles chasing this dog deer deal. I've got probably about a 16 hour drive of actual drive time. Traveling from as far as California and New York, tournament hunters need to place right. their dogs in the top five placements or go home empty handed. I got eight, nine minutes to feel good. If I don't, my dog of the year race is done. Jeff Lecker and Mike Vaughn started strong, but now need to place their dogs in the finals or they'll be out of contention. You gotta step up and you gotta do it. I'm not afraid of anyone. I feel like it's my time. Competitor Jerry Brost will do everything in his power to shut out the rest of the competition. I don't come to play for a second, I'm coming to win. And all competitors know the value of winning this event the most important prize in the circuit. Got to go round by round, one round at a time. It's a long week, it's a long tournament. Really a big deal to, uh, to even get in the finals, much less win one. From Meriden, Kansas, it's go time at the Bird Dog Circuit World Championships. Oh my God, my dog. Has he got it? Barely squeaked in today, got one dog in the doubles, one dog in the singles, so we're feeling good. I, don't, I would say, again, Jerry said it'd be a strong statement, but I would say he's in his own head. Jerry's not on his game right now, you know, not, not like he normally is. If we could pick a dog to win, it's hands down, it's coming out of our trailer. From what happened at Sugar Time to what's happening right now that we're in the finals, we went from zero to hero. <laughs> I've said it a hundred times, every dog has their day. We could be going home on Saturday and not even being in the round. That's the way it goes. Every dog has their day. It's just all part of it. You got killer instinct in the dog. It has to have that in it. It has to have that part of it to start. I'd be a little embarrassed by not making it to the finals, but that's just the way it is. I got beaten. I load up and go home. If you don't learn how to lose, you are never going to learn how to win in this game. That's just the way it is. Bucket don't make it into the finals today. He's out of the points race. Season's over. Start again next year. So if we lose out today, we lose out on the points. We lose out on the world championships. We lose. We got the singles preliminaries to run off. I was lucky enough to get Blaze in there. It is do or die. We got, we got to advance today, but if Blaze doesn't make it through, we got a lot of work to do. I'm field marshaling. My title actually is the field marshal for this year's game. Uh, my job is to make sure the judges, the setters, are where they need to be. Uh, and the players, I, I hold them to a little higher level because we are at the World Championships. Some guys love me, some guys hate me. I'm straight across. You know, I've got really good friends playing in this tournament. I actually have a good friend of mine running my dog in this tournament. If you step out of line, I'll DQ him just as fast as I will anybody else. And everybody's starting to realize that, and the boys are behaving this year. Um, the rain kind of stinks a little bit, but I tell you what, these dogs will be able to pick up scent a lot better today. A little more moisture out there in the grass. And I think it's going to be a good day, to be honest with you. 
Well, we finally got a little moisture here in Kansas. It's been drier than a bone. Um, ought to help the dogs out a little bit, get a little moisture back in the, in the fields. Sure makes a mess of our rigs, though. On the flusher side, players are also talking about the weather. Yeah, I'm happy with the weather, because right now it keeps the, the dust on and the moisture down. Dogs can smell better and they don't overheat. We got a big weather change. We had the front move in last night. It kind of drizzled all night. Things real wet this morning. Uh, we do have a good breeze. It could make it really good or it could make this scent really hang close to the ground and be tough. When we come back, it's the first run of the day in the flusher division. Bing Wesner from Love Lock, Nevada and his lab buddy will attempt to tame the weather. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, providing shooters with state-of-the-art electronic hearing protection since 1994. Loyal Dog Food, with grain-free choices at an agricultural store near you. Garmin, dog tracking, training systems, and the Verb Action Camera. CZ USA, protect, hunt, compete. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. We're back at the BDC World Championships, where Bing Wesner from Lovelock, Nevada has the first flusher run of the day. I'm running Buddy today. He's a six-year-old lab. Uh, he always does real well for me. We had a smoking run in the doubles. Uh, won our field in the doubles. We'll see what he can put together here in this Top Gun today. We travel back to Worlds in Kansas. We put on approximately 2,500 miles round trip. Has a lot of good competition, a lot of dogs, and but also a lot of points are available. Bing and Buddy start out with a quick first bird. Buddy is the only dog that I run on the flushing side. The reason I got him is just to be a pain in the neck for some of the flushing guys that I felt didn't have enough competition out here in the West. I really need to get some points on Buddy at Worlds to propel him into the lead on the champion point side and, and make a run for dog of the year with him. If I don't get points, then it's gonna be a wasted trip on Buddy's part and my part because that's what we're striving for is to, to win the champion point side. They must finish strong or they won't advance to the finals. When you make a mistake like that, it, it is devastating because if it does cost you that dog of the year deal, it's something you'll never forget. You'll remember that shot forever. Over on the pointer side, competitors know the importance of doing well today. It's a big event here this weekend. We got Russell here. He's gonna get me in the field, hopefully get a good luck where I can go in there later with Puckett and win the world championships. I think this is probably my last shot at getting points for, uh, for Dog of the Year. If he doesn't do well today, we probably won't be able to uh, move on to Dog of the Year come uh, nationals in March, so. Anxious for his run to begin, Ron Ricks from Nevada made the semifinals and waits in the blind for his run to begin. Um, this is Roxy, uh, three and a half year old German short hair. Yeah, and she's leading champion Here. points right now by, I think, over 50 points right now. That running of the dog of the year, that's a good thing. Everybody kind of likes to Here. pick on one another, and you don't wish bad for people, but you, you don't want them to catch you either. <laughs> With over 80 dogs qualifying to this year's event, it's big competition when regional foes make it into the semifinals. Gary Busman, Mr. Ethics. Me and Boomer, no, we don't get along. Ron Ricks is who I'm chasing in the points. We're gonna battle for until one of us gives up. Boomer and Patch, yeah, they they could catch Roxy. But I hope like hell he don't. There's a personality clash. It's a it's a way of ethics. Because he's gonna come up with some kind of an excuse why he's not something's wrong, you know, the plant or something. We travel clear back here to the Midwest and don't speak to each other at all, which is Fine with me, and I'm sure fine with him. Come on, let's go. Back on the flushing side, 
John Lewis and his dog Hollywood wait in the blind for their semifinal run. This Hollywood, she's a real fast dog. You know that? Ow, fuck, got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa, girl, you gotta keep your hands on this dog because she's after everything. While John gets started on his run, let's move back to the pointing side and catch up with Ron Ricks and Roxy. The toughest way to get to the dog of the year are champion Point. points. A qual point situation is just showing you how many, how many tournaments you go to, how much money you're gonna invest into it, and just roll with it. Point. I want Bernie, I want Craig Steinbach, man. I'm Boomer, I mean, we go against him back there in Nevada the all the time, that's no big deal. I want the best of the best out here. But yeah, let's go, hunt on. Point. No, this was not the run I was hoping for. No, I took her out and I thought I covered all the field and she ran, she didn't let up at all. I don't here, know what, here. Um, I just must not have put her in the right spot, I guess. Come on. I'm not gonna get rid of her. She's a pretty good dog. <laughs> when we come back, it's RJ Tooney with Blaze and Bernie Birkenholtz with Puckett. Both players need to finish strong to have a shot at getting Point. into dog of the year. We're gonna let her buck out there. We're gonna go for the win. And if this goes to commercial, you're gonna wanna stick around to see what happens. We just have to go out there, lay it out on the line and, and push through that field and hopefully get a good time. If this doesn't go well for us today, no. then we're going to have to probably go to a few more shoots and make a long trip out to Nevada. That's a 30 to 36 hour drive, and I'm not looking forward to that. I so. I'd just soon do it right here, right now, and get it all taken care of. Blaze deserves a good win. Uh, he always gets me into the runoff. He deserves to win just as bad as any other of these dogs out here. It don't matter what kind of dog you have, if you're talking about your dog, it's the best one out there. Point. Whoa. 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 Come on. You're on good pace. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Right here, Blaze. Come on. Point! Blaze, whoa. Point! Here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Point! Whoa. Take that. Come on, good boy. Heel, heel, good boy. There it is, point! Safety! No bird! Blaze here, come on! Go on, heel, 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 heel! Tie Hey! Here, cut. That's a damn good run in my opinion, and I hope it stands. Next up is Bernie Birkenholtz <laughs> and Puckett from Wisconsin. Earlier this season at the Trigger Time major event, we saw them fall short on their qualifying run and leave the event early. Here we are, semi-final run. I understand Bella's in the finals already, Blaze is in the finals already. It's a nine-minute run to, to beat out here to get in the finals. If 
I don't, my dog of the year race is done. And you won't be seeing me anymore on TV. Point. Come on, let's go, let's go. Time. Bruni and Puckett advance to the finals. <sighs> Happy to get that. I was a little nervous with the sun coming out here later this afternoon. Yeah, that was a nice run. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, Loyal Dog Food, Garmin, CZ USA. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. Three weeks ago at the Trigger Time Major Event, we watched Boomer and Patch take a third place trophy and 12 valuable champion points back home to Nevada. Patch is the defending pointing champion dog of the year. If we can win this world with Patch, that'll put him neck and neck with uh, Ron Rex, who is leading it now. Patch. Point. While Boomer and Patch get off to a good start, five miles up the road in the Flusher Field, Watch out, Bert. John Lewis Herma. finishes up his run with Hollywood. Here! Here! Put him up! I'm done at the Top Gun event. I had a good time. A lot of tough competition. We did our best and didn't make it. Back at Boomer's Field, Patch looks for her last bird. Point. Whoa. Whoa. Bitch. Damn it. Just finished my run with Patch in the semifinals here at the World's Finals. Did a bonehead mistake and missed the shot. Uh, I'm not out of it, but it's gonna take a miracle not to be out of it. Patch here! Boomer and Patch. Gosh, again, classic body position mistake. He needed one or two more steps to his right to allow his body to open up on the shot. Instead, it was like his feet stepped into quick creep and he was done. He was set in stone right there, so he forced his body to the right to make the shot. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough range of motion. He come up short and missed the bird. So adjust, insert your muzzle in front of the bird and pull the trigger, rather than mount behind the bird, which is what he's doing here and trying to force himself in front. He just run out of swing, it's plain and simple. Unfortunately, that's gonna cost him a shot at the finals. I'm Dave Miller, pro shooter for CZ USA. Remember, shoot safe, shoot often, and shoot a CZ. Ugly, sorry bud. With the first day of semifinals action in the books, let's take a look at the runoff finalists so far for this year's world championship. Boomer didn't get patched through to the finals, so needs a good run with his dog Decker to make it in. Scott LaPlante is in the finals with Scout, but also has a run coming up with Abe. His uh, pop, uh, we had to put him down a week ago today, so this is a big one. 
and traveling 1,600 miles from California, Cleo Anthony has punched his ticket into the finals with two dogs so far, Allie and Penny, but has one more dog left he'd like to get in. We just watched as Bernie and Puckett got through to the finals, but he also moved into the finals with his other dog, Russell. He'll have two good looks with two dogs in. RJ Tooney and Blaze move on to the finals. Some damn tough dogs I had to beat. And we did our job, we got there. As does Craig Steinbach with Bella and Jack Himes' dog, Ralphie. This right here, this is Ralphie, and this is the little guy we're running for Dog of the Year. He is uh, Region 3 leading, um, leading the points race over there, and uh, um, Ralphie, you know, he spends a lot of time on the road with me, and he's a good dog. Who will win, and who yeah. will go home? Stay tuned next week as we have more semifinals action at the BDC World Championships.